Hey, my name is Gaia Athena and in this video I'm going to talk to you about four library loans that I read in the month of November. There's two non-fiction and two fiction. So let's just uh, start. Timestamps will be in the description down below. Uh, as usual, if I discuss multiple books in a video, unless they're part of the same series or something. Anyway, so the first book that I finished in November is called The Socrates by Pavel Schrut. This is by Czech author and translated into Dutch. Um, and I picked this up the library. I love this cover. Um, the title kind of means like the sock eaters. Um, and it's also got really nice illustrations. Um, the illustrator is called Galina Miglinova. Um, so here are some of the illustrations. Oh, okay, of course, just as I'm showing the illustrations, we get we get page with text. Um, let me try and find you some pages with actual illustrations, and that's not like too far in the book. Um, this is actually, according to Goodreads, book one in a series of, I think it's a three. Um, but I looked and it doesn't look like the other two have been translated into Dutch. I'm not sure if that book is out yet um, in the original country. Um, I hope that they will translate the other ones as well because I really liked this. So. This book is about um, sock eaters, um, which are creatures that eat one sock of a pair, which is why humans often end up with one sock of a pair, if that makes sense, thinking they get lots of laundry sort of thing. Um, it was a very interesting concept. Um, so our main character is called Gicheltje. Basically he kind of laughs a lot, but Gichelen is not the same as laughing. So. But anyway, okay, giggling, I think that would be the closest. But anyway, yeah, I think, I guess that's kind of what, what it is. But anyway, yeah, this was really good. So it is about Giroltje and um, his two cousins um, and the Sok Mafia. And um, there are also um, two humans in this book that play a role other than the sock either creatures so to say and yeah I, I really liked this book um, it was um, whimsical like a children's book and, and it was very creative and yeah I just I really liked it um, yeah then we have Lace It As Je Beroemd Wilt Worden Op YouTube or in English read this if you want to be YouTube Famous, written by Will Eagle. Um, I saw this book and I thought, you know, maybe it'll be useful. So it basically talks about, it mentions um, per page, well, per spread of pages, a YouTube channel, a YouTuber, and then um, the top is a bit of advice that they would give, and the bottom is like their story of how they got to be a YouTuber. Um, I don't know if the pictures are copyrighted, so... I will just, um, and every once in a while there is a two page spread with like general tips. Um, now I don't want to be YouTube famous, I mean I might, that, that might sound weird because I'm making YouTube videos, but I, I don't, I don't want to be famous. Um, that is not like, I wouldn't want to be famous, but anyway. I like to make the videos that I make. and. I mean, I I don't want to make just because if you want to be famous, you kind of have to make videos that appeal to the masses, which is not what I like to do. Um, but if you want to have lots of subscribers and viewers, making stuff that appeals to a large amount of people is obviously how you're going to get there. Um, unless you find a niche that appeals to enough people, sort of thing. But anyway. Um, but there are some interesting tips in here and I also just liked um, reading about these various YouTube channels and um, seeing if I want to subscribe to any of them. Um, 
Now this, as you're watching this, this is my booktube account. And on this account, I'm, I, I am subscribed to lots of booktubers, uh, but only to channels that are related to books or are by booktubers or like a second channel or something. Whereas the rest of the stuff I watch on YouTube, um, I, for example, watch some gaming videos, um, some videos by Dutch um, YouTubers, some funny stuff and various other things um, that uh, I have another like personal account I follow those channels on because I just I just prefer to keep that separate um, but anyway it was, it was just nice to find some nice YouTube channels it, but the book wasn't particularly helpful for me personally but then I didn't buy it because I wanted to know how to be famous on YouTube so I mean I didn't buy it so it was a library alarm but so, you know, I liked reading it, um, but also you can find a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about how to improve your channel and stuff, so, but yeah, um, so yeah, um, sorry, I don't know what else to say about it, so we're just moving on. Then I read Fantastische Funky and the Hesselslope Machine by Anna Kemp, with illustrations by Alex T. Smith. This is originally a book in English, and in English it's called Fantastic Funky in the Brain Drain Machine. Um, so this book is about Frankie and his parents make him go to this uh, prestigious um, boarding school. Is it? I think yeah, it is a boarding school. Um, because at his like regular school, um, he he's not doing so great at school, and his parents want him to do great. Um, but something strange is going on at the boarding school. The book has got some nice illustrations, and obviously I happen to open. The book up on more some text page here is, is it like a full page illustration and um, I also liked um, I one of the reasons I picked this book up is because I liked this font and like how big the text was in the line spacing which which is weird um, this font reminds me of books that I used to read when I was a kid um, I couldn't tell you what they are at the moment but it, it just looks looked recognizable if that's even a word I think it is Anyway, um, this book was quite quite nice. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I wasn't sure beforehand. I even doubted putting it back. Um, but actually it was better than I thought. Um, and it managed to surprise me in a couple of, of twists. So there was some suspense and um, obviously some things um, I could guess. But definitely some other bits managed to surprise me. And yeah, I liked it. Then we get to the last book in this video, and that is Queer Icons by Patrick Boyle, illustrations by Antoine Corbineau. This is originally written in English. In English, this is called Queer Icons from Gay to Z, or well, Z as I would say, but obviously you'd say Z to make it rhyme. Um, it's originally Australian. In Dutch, it is translated as Queer Icons L, H, B, T, E, E, Kone van A tot Z. And I have to admit, I, I I picked this up also because of the cover. Uh, my library had like a a stand display with various LGBT books. Uh, this one um, among them, and I thought it was really nice that they had done that. Um, put you know that I'll make a display like that. I also really liked the illustration style. Um, that's the same page again. Um, some people in here I'd heard of, some I hadn't. Um, I would have liked, like, sometimes a bit more variety. But yeah, every now and then also there's, you know, for example, here is a page about flags, and uh, there is a page about some people in music. Here is one about the sports world. Um, I feel like much more could be added to it. For example, the the one the section about I think there's a section about books or literature somewhere. But obviously that you know that's I guess always the case. Um, but yeah, I learned about some uh, new people that I hadn't heard about, um, and it was nice to read about the people that I had heard about. Yeah, um, it was a nice read. That is it for this video. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next. Bye.